Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakha Kodesh. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. And um, pretty much, as uh, if brothers haven't already heard, which uh, they said, or they have, the FDA basically came out and approved the, um, you know, I think it was the Pfizer, okay, uh, Pfizer and BioNTech, uh, basically gave it full approval, all right, which, um, you know, off the bat, they're already saying, which they've been saying from before, that uh, this is going to open the door for more mandates for, um, you know, different businesses, which were uh, a little more hesitant because it was still in the emergency use. Okay, and of course, in in a matter of time, they're going to start approving more of the other ones as well. And it's going to lead to a lot of uh, 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 violence and chaos. Okay, because there are some people that are, you know, would rather instead of, you know, saying, well, you know, I'm not going to take it and I'm not going to just sit there. So you're going to have people that are going to, you know, get up and, and start walling out, basically, especially when it affects um, their food, their jobs, their families, so on and so forth. All right. And which is why they're going to bring in the troops. OK. And as you see, it's it's basically like the same trend and the same cycle going around the world where you have a lot of uh, people that are saying, look, enough of this. We're not with this. We're not doing this anymore. And they're, you know, going against these uh, these authorities and these different um, nations. But the thing is, but here, when it the way they're pushing it right now, they just got more momentum. OK, they just got more momentum and they don't plan on stopping. And as they keep going and pushing and pushing, they're provoking the people and they're going to get a response. All right, because right now people are, are sort of like, you know what it is, they're. They're, they're, they're being backed up and they can see, all right, the corner or the wall that they're about to be backed up into, but they're not in the corner just yet. They still have a little bit of space to keep going back as these devils keep stepping forward, you know, and it gets to the point where when they finally, their back is finally against the wall and they see that there's nowhere else to go, they're going to what? They're going to come back and clash. They're going to come back forward. And these regular law enforcement agencies are not going to be able to handle all of that backlash from the people. OK, because you have a lot of places that are, you know, either have or are defunding their police. You have some people that are quitting the force, quitting their jobs because because of this whole thing. So you, you, you you're you going to have certain people that um were supposed to be or were previously a part of law enforcement or whatever they were. You know, firefighters, nurses, and they would be they're going to be a part of those that are coming against. All right. The uh, the kings and the princes and the rulers. All right. And it's going to it's going to you're going to have a, 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 you know, that friction there and it's going to get so bad. Now, last year, throughout last year, there were various videos that came out showing um, uh, military tents, military cars, military troops. And and they were they were moving. You know, some some would you'd see a train full of, you know, tanks and Humvees and, you know, military cars and artillery being moved. But then you you don't hear about it for a while and it's almost as though it never happened. Then then another video surface of maybe like a um a concentration camp somewhere, you know, what what looks like it I should say. And then you don't really hear much about it then like it just disappeared. But these 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 tanks, these weapons, these troops that you're seeing, they're not just disappearing into nowhere. If you're seeing them on American soil and they're being moved from place to place, then they're being moved for a reason. OK. So it's going to get bad out here, man. And when people have nothing else to lose, they lose it. People going, hey, look, if I'm going to sit home and starve to death anyway, what I might as well fight for food. You know, now, how how long do you think? these um stores because you you know realistically speaking being practical where this is going to go if you have a crowd outside of a, a a stop and shop or a sam's club and you're saying no we're not going to let you in how many officers can you really send to every single sam's club every single bj's every single store to block an overpowering crowd from rushing into the store 
It only takes one person to try to break past one of the officers, and the rest of them, they got their carts. They, they're ready. They're like, look, my fridge is empty, man. I'm, I'm. And then it's going to get to the point where as they're pushing and mowing through these, these uh, whether they're store employees or security guards, people are just going to forget about standing in line because you, number one, you're not allowed in the store. You broke into, pretty much broke into the store, overpowered the those at the at the front, at the door of the store. You think you're going to do that and then get stuff to go wait in line? No. It only takes one, one or two, three, four people to start grabbing things and, and dipping out. And the trend, the once that trend starts, it's over. Okay? And before you know it, your store is a wreck. Now, this is the book of Job because now as that goes on and you, and you see a lot more looting and chaos and things going on, they're going to send in troops. They're going to send in foot soldiers. They're going to send in people that it's going to be so bad that they're going to they're gonna need to come and set the tone, quote unquote. They're going to need to come with a with a, a harsh Revelation 12 and 12 with great wrath. And they might need to take out a few people to, to, to make examples and 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 establish that dominance, you know, as they like to do. But it's going to get to the point where people are going to be so fed up. And, and, and in such a, 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 a you know, a, a angry spirit, you know, in such a, 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 you know, such a desperate spirit that they're not going to regard that. OK. And when that happens, where they, 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 they look, they got the perfect excuse to put troops on the ground, not on some. Oh, we just called in the National Guard just to quell riots and then boom. No, 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 no. They get justification. Look, we have to bring these guys on the ground and they they have to be authorized to use lethal force. When they cross that line, that becomes your norm. You have curfews now, all this, that, and the third. That's it. Okay? This is Job 30 and verse 13. It says, they mar my path. They set forward my calamity. They have no helper. Now, when you mar something, you're basically... Um, Hindering would be a nice way of saying it, but you're 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 uh, destroying it. All right, you're stopping it. You're preventing it, hindering it from uh, 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 from its natural way of 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 doing something. For example, if you uh, mar your beard, all right, when you when you you know line up your beard and you mar it, the reason you're it's called you're marring it is because you'll notice that the hairs will start to grow back in that area that you, you, you shaved it off because the hairs are supposed to grow there. And each time you shave off that hair, you're marring that, that part of your beard because the hair is supposed to be there, but you're, you're trying to stop it from where, where it's supposed to be or what it's supposed to do. So when they mar your path, they, they, like, they block your path. They hinder your path. And that's what they're doing now because pursuant to Wisdom of Solomon in the fifth chapter, People are starting to see that that, uh, especially for, for those that had the mindset of the world, but yet don't want to be um, down with this with Vanessa. These people are seeing that their their path in their mind for a life for a, 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 a good job, a nice house, all of that is marred because now they can't get past a certain area. They may want certain you may need to get a certain degree or a certificate or whatever it may be, but you can't even down to the basic necessities of getting a job. Okay, and just you watch, this push, this push, this is great momentum for them. They were, now, prior to this full approval, and this is just a Pfizer, but prior to this full approval, there's a reason they set the date back into further in September, and they haven't really pressed hard, even with the threats of the mandates, because they, they still want to wait till it's fully out. Then they can say, look, now we have all the authority, all the jurisdiction, all the right, okay, to go hard with our mandates. See, you have mandates and then you have hard mandates. And that's what's coming. Now they can say, look, you, you have absolutely no excuse. We had no patience for you before, but now we definitely don't have any patience for you now because now you're just being uh, 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 stubborn. Now you have absolutely no reason. Whatever you were holding on to, now is done. Whatever you were holding on to that we possibly acknowledged, which was that it was an emergency use, 
Now that's out the way. So now you can't even try to sue me and say that it's experimental. You may try to find some loopholes, but but guess what? If you try to take somebody to court who and the person you're trying to take to court is on the side or working for the uh, the same people that the judges at the court are working for, how do you think that's going to go for you? All right. Not well. Verse 14, they came upon me as a wide breaking in of waters. All right. Like a flood. In the in in the desolation, they rolled themselves upon me. And that's how these troops are going to come in. Because just like police comes in and, and they 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 all loud, you know, mad aggressive because they're taught that when you get there, you have a certain amount of seconds within your arrival to to uh, establish dominance or else you're done. You've lost it. So when these troops come in here. Their, their, their first moments are to establish dominance. To let the people know that, look, we are your daddy now, basically. And guess what? Your favorite, sweet, sleepy, creepy Joe? A lot of people are going to hate that dude, man. They're already starting to do it now, but they're going to see the real demons on him. Okay? Verse 15, terrors are turned upon me. They pursue my soul as the wind. And my welfare passeth away as a cloud. And that's exactly what's going to happen to a lot of people, namely you Israelites. Because you have people that are in that folly spirit. As things get worse in the world, pe the, these Israelites get more and more into folly. As things get more serious, they get more into the spirit of mirth, of joking around. So your welfare is going to pass away from you. Your false sense of security is going to pass away from you. And everything, anything that you would have hoped for or counted on is going to pass away from you. You will not have food to eat. You will, Even if you do, you will not have protection. You will not have shelter. And you end up in one of, one of Esau's shelters, you're going to wish you hadn't. Verse 16, and now my soul is poured out upon me. And uh, the days of affliction have taken hold upon me, and 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 applying that now to this time, guess what? We're we're in the beginning of the days of affliction of the time of Jacob's trouble, as Yahweh said, the beginning of sorrows. So laughter for the world, the joy ceases, uh, ceaseth, the mirth of the land is gone. We're getting ready to see that. We're getting ready to see live prophecy in your face on a on a on a lar on the largest scale you have ever experienced and we're we're literally just a couple of weeks all right months if not weeks away from that because we know what this is is looking like a lighting a match to you know what i'm saying a, 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 a room that's rigged with you know freaking explosives that's what that's what it looks like when that date comes you know, they say it's September 27th. For other things, they said September, what, 13th or so? All right, which you have some some uh, holy days within that month. Now, when these dates hit, that's like them setting, you know, the fire. Okay? Now they're saying that the New York City mandates that uh, um, Vanessa for, uh, for all public school teachers. All right, and I believe this is uh, um, by September 27th. Okay? And a lot of people are starting to, you know, bump their heads and look left and right and say, look, man, I don't know. And, you know, this is why faith is so important, because we're calm. You know why? Because we believe. And through that belief, uh, uh, an opening of uh, uh, an opening of another way out has been has been shown to us. We can see another way out through faith. We can see things that people cannot see. Through faith, because we see the kingdom, we see how Shai coming back, we see the, the hell breaking loose, but we see the deliverance. That's the thing with a lot of people is they give in because they don't they think that there's no other way out. They think, well, am I supposed to, you know, I just got to what? Just be poor and die. Whoever said you were going to die? Whoever said that just because you quit your job, you're going to just go homeless and starve to death? That's the thing. They don't see the other side. Okay? Because 
to see the other side, you have to see it through faith. For us, we our minds have been on the other side prior to all of this. So that's where we at. Okay, it's like an invisible door that's only visible for those who have the eyes to see it. So everybody else thinks, well, there's no other door. And if I don't do this, then I'm basically choosing death or suicide or whatever they want to think of it as. But no, really, you're choosing life. Really, you're choosing to enter a new world, okay, where things you, you thought previously were impossible are now possible. Because as a matter of fact, they've always been possible. You just never knew. So from here, let's go to the book of Second Ezra, chapter 16. And I want to deal with this verse in uh, verse 68. And it says, for behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. Now, where is that burning? Number one, where is that great multitude going to come from? And number two, it says the burning wrath. Revelation 12 and 12 says great wrath. And it says what? Um, and it's kindled over you. That's why it's called Jacob's trouble. And they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle. Now, what you should ask yourself is where are they going to take you from? And where are they going to take you to? And who's going to take you? Okay. Now, we know that martial law will be declared. We know there will be curfews and, and, and troops in the streets and FEMA camps set up. But now, that's already in these devil's plans. Here's the thing. How do you get from now, where people are alert and know what your plans are, to still to that to that agenda? You need you need an event. You need something in between. Now, who's to say in the midst of all of this, they don't throw some some, you know, some pseudo 9-11 again, but on a, a, a much grander scale. The more the, the more the confusion, the more the chaos, the more the fear, the easier it is for them to instill the control. Bring the order. Order through chaos. The more chaos, the more order, the more chaos, the more control. OK. So as it says, and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. And verse 69, and they, this is, this is a key verse that people need to pay attention to when you read this chapter. The, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. You think you consent unto these devils and agree and take, for those of you who already took it, you're through. All right? Because you've consented unto them. And the, and the scripture says, and this is what Ezra saw. You are going to be had in derision and, re, and in reproach and underfoot. Lest the Lord have mercy on you. Because ultimately that's up to the Lord. But, man, that just you don't want to run that risk. You know, we, uh, hey, uh, I was talking with, you know, uh, um, uh, one of the, the brothers and one of the elders yesterday. And we was talking about how p you have people that say, oh, <laughs> I'm going to take it and I'm going to have faith in the most high that nothing bad is going to happen to me. He's going to protect me. No, no, no. That's not how it works. You don't take it. <laughs> the, the, the point is you don't. The way you're protected is by not taking it. All right. The way you're protected is by not taking it. You don't take it and say, well, I, 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 the most I'm going to No, no, no. The protection is not taking it. This isn't a prevention is better than cure. This is a prevention is the cure. And if you don't prevent, you ain't no other cure. There's no undo button. There's no, oh, let me try that again. You don't get no redos. Okay? So if you have them, oh, well, you know, I'll just do it and go ask for forgiveness. Finished through finished done you had one opportunity shouldn't have done it you should have trusted the lord then and not done it but you went and did it and then you want to turn around and meant talk about well well now i trust the lord uh um uh, uh, i trust the lord now to you know uh make sure i'm good you should have uh, unbelievable all right but as it says they shall be trodden underfoot that's what's going to be happening because now who's going to come to your rescue you're going to consent unto the devil and the Lord is going to be mad at you. And then the devil is going to show you, hey, I'm the devil. Shouldn't have consented on to me. So now where are you going to go? You can't come to me because I'm the one coming after you. You can't come to the most high because you, you disobeyed him to come to me. <laughs> uh, so where are you going to run? 
Because you you think that oh well I just I just um give in and consent onto them and then um when I do that well then I guess everything is good because I consent it to them and I get to keep my job and I get first off do you understand when we talk about Jacob's trouble all of that little mindset that little let me get my white picket fences the nice house and the comfortability so long as I just agree it's out the window. Uh, consenting onto Esau is not going to protect you from a famine. It's not going to protect you from nuclear missiles. Their agenda stays the same. They still want to uh, control everybody and put the karagma in everybody. It's not going to exempt you from that. It's not going to exempt you from being a slave. It's not going to exempt you from death. So people act as though, you, all right, well, I, I took it so I don't have to suffer. I can keep my job. And then a month later, all hell breaks loose. <laughs> you know? Vanessa is not going to deliver you from all hell breaking loose. You may think it'll give you a little temporary relief from the stress that Esau is going to bring, but you are not ready for the stress that the Most High is going to bring. Uh, verse 70, for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Why? Because those that fear the Lord are not going to be down with this. Okay. It says uh, they shall be like madmen sparing none. Because that's going to be their orders because of how bad it's going to get out here. They're going to be given orders. Look, it's either you or them. And depending on what zone you're assigned in, you either pull the trigger or you restrain them, whatever their orders are. But they're going to come in like madmen because they're not going to be here to talk, sympathize, have emotions, chat, you know, let you off the hook. That'll only happen if the Lord wills it, if he, if he uh, intervenes divinely. If not, don't expect any mercy. That's their slogan. Expect no mercy. All right. It says, um, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. And we're being tried now. But that ultimate trial of what of whether you pass, you know, you pass that trial of the test of the or the trying of your faith is going to be when when all hell breaks loose. You know, now the elect are going to pass regardless because the Lord has given them the faith to pass whether they know it or not. Okay? But the Lord already predestined the elect to be good. The rest of these people out here are going to get caught up and we're going to see these prophecies fulfilled in them. All right? So yeah, they're going to bring these troops out here, man. It's only a matter of time. Just watch how the whole thing unfolds. And you'll see how the world just descends into more and more chaos. And you see how quick, how quick that can happen. And people are going to hope that it's, it's going to stop. It's going to get so bad, people are going to hope that they can just stop. They can just go back into last week. When when everything, it was just last week that everything was normal. And, and, and then boom, look at the world now. So, hey, Yahweh Shai did tell us to watch as well as pray, you know, that we may be you know, delivered. So that's exactly what we got to do. We got to watch and pray. All right. And have faith, man. Because if you don't have faith and you can't stay stable in the mind and make sound decisions, you're not going you're gonna to bug out. You're going to make a stupid decision that's going to cost you. Okay. So with that, I hope this was edifying to the elect. In closing, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakha Kudash. Until next time, shalom.